Okay, welcome back. We have the angle abutment in now, and we're ready to wrap things up. I'm going to go to 5 power, come right back on in. Just get the microscope in a better situation here. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Again, just grabbing tissue only. That's it. I'm going to come in and hold the top of the abutment down. I, I placed the prosthetic screw for a reason. I just wanted to keep that in there uh, as a, a holding device. Again, this is all just going to be hand tightening on an angle abutment. Uh, and then everything else, again, holding it down. I'll just start it with this small driver. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's visible. Okay. So just bring it up to the next power. And hold right there. Now, I want to, before I tighten it, I want to find out if, in fact, it's bottomed out all the way. So look at it. you got to see seam to seam. Without a doubt, this is a, I think it's, yeah, it's a two millimeter collar, so I don't feel any seam. I'm feeling down in here, that looks good. You can almost just take the Explorer, maybe spin it a little bit. Um, try to, try to move it, yeah, because if it, you want to make sure it gets centered. And then just a little hand tightening, that's all we have to do. I don't want you tightening anything else. So, move your right hand. That's yeah, visibility is not easy. That's one in the back. Okay. So that's just again hand tightening. I don't know. It might be off five degrees one way, five degrees the next. We don't know that. So until we get the bridge out. Okay, I'm just checking for stability. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and I will hand tighten that a little bit more with a, a better screwdriver. All right. So now I can take out that prosthetic screw that helped me tremendously. I mean, I, was, I wasn't able to hold on to that abutment um, without that prosthetic screw in there. So, you got to live and learn. There we go. All right, now take the prosthetic screw out and just set it aside. Oh, it's free. It's under my finger. Let's get it. Right here under my finger. Right there. There it is. Go ahead. Good. All right. So let's put that over here. We've got some more prosthetic screws. Let's get the bridge out. Let's see if the bridge um, drops in in this position. So it's going to seat passively. We're looking for a passive fit. No rocking. Okay, so it's the first step and see if things go back and if, if we're lucky, if not, then we got to move things around. So it looks like we're going to have to move it around. So. That's the back abutment. All right. A little bit of an angle issue here. Yep. So it looks like we got to turn it more mesially. So I'll loosen it, turn it, and then retighten it. Okay. Doc, you need a break? You okay? Yeah, I'm not taking it all the way out. I'm just going to turn it a little bit.
It's going to turn it a little bit. Have to loosen it a little bit more. Quarter turn, full turn. Let's see if it'll pick up and move. I push down. Nope. And then we'll take that hemostat again. Maybe you can pull it up a little bit and turn it. There we go. Now I'm gonna I'm not gonna tighten it, but I'm gonna bring the bridge back in. And I'm gonna reseat the bridge and see if it drops on. Oh. Ah. There it goes. Looks good. Alright. Perfect. All right, so that confirms the angle. Now all we have to do is just lock it in. And if I can grab that mirror again, I'm gonna just double check my other two to see if we're in. Now, height was important when we were ordering the parts. Now we were measuring the measuring heights. Making sure that that all worked out. Looks good. Slight little gap there, so I'm going to look into that. That could be with tightening or could be with uh, very, very slight on the second bicuspid. Well, it looks like we're, we're pretty close. Okay, pop this off. We might be on tissue. That's another thing. Some of the tissue might have grown over, possibly, preventing it from seating. But it looks like the back abutment is in the right angle. So let's just verify that angle again. Okay, so that moved a little too far. Let's move it back. That's more like the position. You know, I'm going to just hand tighten this just a little bit. Let's see if we can do it with just a lever. Oh, too much. So we'll ha I'm going to hold the top in like I did before with the hemostat. I'll try this in just to make sure. Not quite. On the back. Open place. Looks good. Yep. I'm just going to use this lever instrument. But I want to check the margin. Down all the way. It feels like it is. Okay. Let's try our bridge in again. 
That bridge seats nicely. I'm going to hold on to your bridge. I want you to close down for me all the way. Tap a little bit, Doc. Is that pretty close, right? Yep. Open. All right. Great. Now, let's uh, let's take a look at some of these here. I'm going to hand tight using a little different kind of a wrench. Um, this will put us right at 15. Okay. In fact, I'm going to use that smaller wrench, a little wider platform. Maybe I can get away with just a little more. Try. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'm going to. I think the second uh, abutment could always be switched out to the first, etc. You know, I try to try to do that. All right, I'm just going to tighten up a few more things, and then we'll wrap things up in the next clip.